Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. So on today's episode, and the plan for the rest of this week is to work towards having a foundry here in the workshop and being able to cast metal. I've got to wait on a delivery to arrive so that we can really start moving on with the project, but it's going to be fantastic to have you here. First things first, Joe is going to work on a slightly different project, and then we're going to get to it. So what are you going to do, Joe? So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to forge two hooks so we can hang up these clamps so they don't stay under the workbench so we can actually access them easily. Outstanding. The hooks are going to be screwed into the studs. That way they're nice and strong. 8 by 20 mild steel, that's what you're using? Yes, I do. Fantastic. Let's watch Joe make some hooks, and then uh, we're going to be making some casting tools after that. So while Joe is working on those hooks, what I'm going to work on is some of the tools for casting. Now, you saw Joe make up a pair of tongs and a casting hoop for holding a big crucible. Now, I've got another two sizes of crucible on the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make up another two hoops and maybe one smaller pair of tongs. We're going to see. But what's for certain is I'm not going to be able to finish these things until the crucibles show up. They should be here today. So what I have gone ahead and done is I punched a hole at either end and then I took a chisel and I chiseled all the way down the piece. What that means is we now have a slot and I can take a pair of tongs, twist and twist and twist and twist and twist until we open this up just like Joe did on the other one. This is then going to make it easier to bend this into the round because we're going to be bending on the easy way of the rectangle. Oh, <laughs> whoops, <laughs> bent the tongs. There we go, that's stronger. I can then hammer on it, start opening it. So I've got the two hoops forged. I really, really like this technique that, uh, that Joe and I kind of first hummed up here, had a little thought about when he made his there. It's really fun with those holes and the splits. You turn it up, you get this wonderful little tapered bit, and uh, it's really interesting. Really, really interesting, and I find it very aesthetically pleasing too. However, now it's time for me to draw down the material on the Pilkington power hammer for the handle. Now, of course, these are going to be one-sided, unlike the two-handled uh, foundry pouring hoop that Joe made the other day. Since these are for the smaller crucibles, they should be arriving in a little bit. Thank you. 
Look at that! All oiled up with linseed oil. That is too awesome looking forge. Crucible porous. That was a lot of fun. This was a really fun forging. Joe, of course, has finished up these hooks. They're looking fantastic. And now he's working on another pair of tongs to hold crucibles. Let's go and have a look at that. So while Joe's been working on the tongs, I had a steel delivery, and I then went to a neighbor who very kindly let me borrow a piece of equipment, some rollers, and I rolled the diameter for the furnace body. So, I've now officially learned how to roll a circle, which is very exciting. That's gonna be the diameter of our foundry body, and in here lies some more of the materials that we are gonna need to make this bad boy. So now, I need to take my TIG welder, and I need to weld this seam shut so we can start working on the rest of it. So I'm having fun TIG welding. Joe is working on the jaw of his tongs. Let's check that out. As you can see over here, I have a cylinder that has been TIG welded up. This was a lot of fun to TIG weld. Of course, I'm by no means any, anywhere, anywhere an expert TIG welder or expert anything to do with welding, but that was actually a lot of fun because I've never run TIG welding beads quite as long, so trying to get used to feeding it, doing it up on my feet instead of sat down. Good fun, good old fashioned learning fun. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have to think about the burners we're gonna use. Now, I'm gonna be using the same burners that I have on my forges there. This is what I power the forges with, and these are burners that I sell on my website, alexsteelblacksmith.com. Make sure you go get some. And they're rather fabulous. It's an Australian burner. I've been using it for a little over a year now. Absolutely love it. Thrilled that I get to supply these on the website, and I'm gonna be using them here for the foundry, but I'm gonna be using three of them. <laughs> 
<laughs> now, interesting here is we're gonna have a cylinder. These burners need to not be in the middle pointing flame straight at the crucible, but they wanna be on the edge so that it creates, to a certain extent, a spiraling flame or a vortex of a flame that goes around the outside of the crucible, helping get a nice and even temperature. Of course, I'm gonna have three of these bad boys, so what I now need to do is work out where I want the holes and work out how it is that I'm gonna make a hole correctly ovalized and is it the right angle? I'm sure we'll work it out and I'm sure if we can't work it out we'll be able to hit it with a hammer and likely fix it. I think this will work rather well as a little bit of a mold for the castable refractory when we go to cast this. I think this can help us line up the burners. If I want the burners coming in at the right angle here, how am I gonna measure this accurately? So somehow I have to be able to measure the angle from a radius, which accuracy is gonna be difficult in this case. I have no clue what I'm doing. Okay, so I can plasma cut these or I can use a hole saw, but I'm very worried about using a hole saw uh, because this is probably going to wobble around and what have you. And using a hole saw on this, I can't see that it's going to work admirably. So my plan is to borrow a neighbor's plasma cutter. Thinking about how to get the hole the right size, this could be the way to go about it. Whether it's the right way to go about it or whether it's just a way to go about it, I'm not sure. More aggressive. Need to make it more aggressive. Okay, that'll work beautifully. Well, it won't be the most accurate of things, but I think it will work, provided I can use a plasma cutter. Man, I really need a plasma cutter. That is freaking awesome. That's bloody fantastic. I need one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly, using a plasma cutter is fun. I really, really, really should invest in a plasma cutter here for the workshop. Here are the three holes. Certainly not the cleanest holes in the world, but I had fun making them. Here is a burner flare. And as you can see, we're undersized on all of them. Undersized on all of them. Which is fantastic, because it means that I can take a die grinder and get them just perfect so that then there's not too much gap to have to fill when I TIG weld in the burner flares. Joe has done a truly fabulous job finishing off these tongs that he's made. He also gave the larger tongs that he made the other day a little bit of a tweak so they're a little bit lower profile here so they can get inside the furnace easier. Right now he's just tweaking that second little hoop there because we found it was a little on the small side for this crucible there. This is our medium sized crucible. Figure it's a good, you know, contingency plan to have loads of available crucibles. So I went ahead and got three of them. How's it looking, Joe? Should we give it a test? There we go, almost there. Oh, look, it looks like we just got it. Looks like it's just a little, little uh, needs a little flattening right about in there. There we go, almost. Just needs to go a little bit further. So I say it has been a wonderfully productive day. Joe and I have achieved a lot. Make sure you guys go and check out his channel. I'll be linking his channel in the description of all the videos while he is here. We got a little more tweaking to go. We're amassing a lovely pile of tools ready for us to try for the first time casting. I've never done any casting. Joe's never done any casting. It's gonna be exciting working through this. So make sure if you're new to the channel, you subscribe so you can check out these daily videos. It's been an absolute pleasure having you here in the workshop. I hope you go and make something and I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue making this furnace and making all the tools to go along and to get started in having our own foundry.